Hi there. Um, we're back with uh, City, City Skylines tutorial for beginners, and we're in number 36. We've just installed our metro stations, and now we're going to go down and take a look at them and have fun looking at the people coming in. So this is going to be a fun tutorial. I love this. This is just so much fun. See now you can actually come out here and you can see people coming in and out. If we if we slow this down to uh, two, you can see people going in and out of the state of the metro station. Now you can also stop them, stop your come down here and click the stop so that everything stops and you can actually go over put your cursor over the guy who just came out of the metro station left click and it will tell you he is Tony Campbell he resides at Robin restaurant restaurant residence he is a worker at the ice cube factory here in the industrial section and he is going to work all that information is right there if you want to see where the ice cube factory is, you can click on the name ice cube factory. If you want to see where his residence is, where his, where does he actually live? Where did he come from? You can go to Robin residence. So let's do that. Let's go see where he came from. We're going to click on this and it's going to take us to his residence. And there is a blue uh, upside down water drop right over the top of his residence. Can you see that right there? So that shows you where he is. You know it's this building. Or I guess it's this building. Robin residence. And he is all the way up in the plateau. So he came from the plateau all the way up here by subway to go to work. Um, so we're not probably won't have worker problems anymore. Remember, we always had problems with the workers. Well, not anymore because take a look at this down here. We'll get where we can see it. We'll put it. We'll turn it on, and you can see all these people are going to work somewhere. So let's check these out. This one is uh, Shirley Jones. She's working a worker at Ready to Wear Limited. We could go click on that and see where she works. Um, this fellow right here that's headed in I guess it's a lady is Carol Blackwell she's working at Garments Limited the lady behind her is working is uh, uh, an educated teen who is going to a general store um, there is probably down the general store is probably in the commercial area uh, this is Oscar Price. He's unemployed, but he's going to the discount sales, again, probably in the commercial area. This is an educated teen, uh, unemployed, going to the multimedia center. So we'll turn that on, let them take off and do their thing. Now there's a bunch of people that just came out of the subway. Um, see if I can get forward on these. I can't get down any closer to them but hopefully you can see them a little bit on your on your screen. If I check some of these folks walking away, uh, this is uh, another educated teen uh, going to the Japanese garden. Uh, she lives in the Fairview residence, which is probably not even up here. Uh, this is another educated teen going to the large playground. Uh, all of these kids seem to be kids getting out of school. Um, this is a university student, uh, Sabrina Roberts. She's going home. So um, let's find one that uh, came from someplace else. Uh, she's going to the Japanese garden. This is Ashlyn Jones. She resides at the Chester residence. So let's see where she resides at. And um, if we pull this out, we can see that she's residing here right in this building with the uh, upside down teardrop if we click on it we can see that she actually came from the farming area she came from all the way into the farming area all the way up to the plateau to go to a park up there using this metro station so now we're at this metro station in the farming area. We'll turn that on. 
and watch the people going, coming and going there. And we'll see where those folks are going. Okay, Heather Harvey uh, is going to the Medium Mug Cafe. Uh, she resides in the Spring Residence, probably here in the farming area. And she works at Phil's Fields, which is here in the farming area. But she's leaving the farming area by subway to go to the Medium Mug Cafe. If we click on the name of the cafe, it'll take us to where the cafe is. And right down here, you will see the little blue upside down teardrop that shows where that cafe is. So we'll click on the cafe and turn it around here. And that's where she's going. And that cafe is down by the harbor. So she's going to come out right here at this subway station. We might even be able to catch her if we turn it on and start watching people coming out of there. Okay, maybe not. Probably takes a while for folks to ride that subway. But, you know, people are going, coming and going from all over the city. Okay, let's let's find the first one headed for headed in the direction of that cafe. There's somebody. That's Piper Finch and a dog. Get down here a little closer. Amanda Chapman. Okay, we're, we're not finding the lady that we wanted to find. Willow. Stephanie Finch. I'm trying to catch the lady that was actually going to the mug cafe but apparently she's coming on the next subway. But anyway, you can follow people all through the city this way. Um, and they're coming and going from all over. Uh, we're up at seven minutes, so uh, I'm just going to show you how to, uh, for each one of these, it's nice to be able to uh, put a little park next to each of these. Now, you can go to the park section and pick one of the playgrounds if it's a neighborhood that you're in with houses or if you just want a place for people to uh, sit this is where our I'll, I'll turn this off first this is where our metro station is here in the new neighborhood so uh, I thought maybe we would put uh, one of these parks just on the outside of it there you go. And we'll put another one over here on this side. Now, in the process of doing that, we have disconnected our electric lines, I think, probably. So if we check our electricity, oh, no, no, we just got rid of the electric line clear down here, but it's still connected. So everything is still running down here, and we now have a very nice little park area where people are coming and going, as well as using the metro. See, so if we get in here, we can see them coming and going. A lot of people going in and using the metro station instead of driving around. Um, put it on hold, and uh, I just have a, a couple of seconds. I'm going to go up here and show you what to do in the industrial area. Keep in mind, any trees we put in here are going to die eventually because of the pollution. So if we go down to the parks and we pick a park that is mostly cement and gravel, we can put that park here and not worry too much about, you know, and I think this one is mostly gravel. And it doesn't have too many trees. It also doesn't have hardly anything else in it. Well, it's got a couple tables. And that's all it will have. Eventually, those trees will die. But at least now we've got a couple of nice little park areas with some benches next to the industrial area metro if people want to sit down and relax for a minute outside. And we'll check our electricity. Make sure, see now on this one, when we put the park in, we lost our electric, so we have to pull it back in to the park. 
Okay, we're at almost 10 minutes, so I'm going to close this one out, and I'll see you in number 37. Bye.